let's check this chest. Anything in the chest? Red oh, wow, yeah, full redstone. Okay, let's get another redstone launcher, like, right here then, huh? <laughs> here we go, change the orientate. There you go. Awesome. Okay, so the LA's... Oh, man, the LA stopped getting redstone. Okay, let's check the chest again. Any more redstone inside there? There was. Okay, there was 40 right there. Okay. <laughs> so we get a little bit more. I need 10 more redstone, and then I'll be able to get a fourth redstone launcher. Oh, jeez, never mind. Sunset has begun, and the beast has arrived. Now, does he have the same amount of health? Like 50 something percent? He does. Okay, so we just have to actually straight up kill him, I guess, huh? So hold on, how do I use it? Oh, oh, whoops. Where is he? How do I take him down? Where is he? Oh, there. Oh my gosh, he already broke through. Are you kidding me? He already broke through. There he is right there. What in the world? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's aim him down with a redstone launcher. Are we going to hit him? Oh, he moved out of the way. Are you kidding me? Golly. Man, well, he's taking down the uh, whatever right here. Yeah, that's, that's cooling down. Let's get this redstone launcher right here. And, ah, oh, man, I don't know. Should I aim him down himself or the piglins? I don't know. He's aiming down the uh, the fountain right now, so we might be kind of distracted, but he's getting out of the way. No. Oh, he's, oh, he's going to get hit. No. Man, he ran out of the way. Oh, man, that takes forever, even though it's like right there. Protect the fountain. It's everything to the villagers. Yeah, well, let's get, let's go get, uh, here we go, here we go. Any creepers I can spawn in here? I don't th man! Well, there was a creeper heckin' spawner right there, but he just destroyed it. Okay, here we go. Let's get all these creepers here. And hopefully we can take down that guy again, right? Do we have a uh, carpenter thing here? Yeah, we do, because I can see it getting repaired right now. Okay, let's get all these creepers here. He's ready down that wall or what? I don't know. Oh, he's, go he's charging in. He's going to take down that gate. It seems like he might. Yep, he just did. Okay. Let's go take him down. Hopefully he starts attacking something and all the creepers can just explode next to him. He's at 52%. No, the creepers are... Oh, well, if anything, at least are going to explode against all these piglins here. Are they? I don't think so. Man, they just got killed. Golly. Man, that guy's really tough. He just runs away. Protect the fountain. It's everything to the villagers. Yeah, I know. I can't, I can't do much. Hopefully these creepers can explode all those groups of piglins. Yeah, there you go. They're exploding there. That's good. I can slice him down, too. Oh, there he is right there. Hold on, hold on. Don't kill the heckin' redstone launcher. No, he just did. Are you kidding me? Golly. Let's use another redstone launcher if we can. Come on, he's right there. At least stay still. Oh. Oh, oh my god, he's kind of stuck. No, no, come on. Oh, he's about to get hit. He's about to get hit. 50% health. My gosh, when is it going to come down? Man, that projectile didn't even come down. Are you kidding me? What in the world? All right, let's use another launcher right here, see if I can take him down now. Man, he's on the move, though, so... There you go. Hopefully he gets stuck there and he actually gets hit by this thing, but I doubt it. Oh, is he going to get hit by the projectile? 49% health. He's still there? No! Man! Where in the world did he even go? Did he get... I feel like the projectile, like, hit the fountain or something, honestly. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can get another creeper spawner, because we don't have one right now. Okay, there's the Horde of the Hunt leader guy right there. 48% health. See if we can take him down. So there we go. Creepers go in. I'll summon in even more creepers. So he's at 40% health. Creepers are exploding. Yes! 46%. Man, that only took down like 2% of his health. Are you kidding me? Okay, creepers. Oh, he's... Okay, he's moving now. So ah, just ignore him, I guess. Keep going this way. Keep going this way. Take it down another tower. Seems like he kind of got stunned, honestly. So hopefully the creepers can explode against him again. Is that 46% health? 44%? Ah, 43%? We're actually doing a good job of taking him down, which is awesome. But man, all these stretches over here are getting damaged. Some of the stone is holding up, though. The stone walls over here, you know? But man, the heckin' beast himself is doing an amazing damage over here. I don't know if... Oh, he took down the heckin' redstone launcher. Golly. Alright, let's see if we can use this one. <laughs> Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, there he is. There he is. Can I take him down? We got skeletons, like, right there, though, so... We're doing damage... Oh, he got hit by it. I think it only did like 2% damage, if anything. Three minutes left, though. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to take him down. Is that redstone launcher going to be back in time? I don't think so. <laughs> let's get some uh, skeleton spawners. And yeah, you know what? Let's get some... Yeah, let's get some plank golems. There you go. That'll be good. Let's get some of these. Let's, let's recall everyone back here. <laughs> and let's get some skeletons. Wow, we have like nothing. We have three skeletons that respawn back here, you guys. That's insane. Okay, here we go. We got like 30 skeletons right now. Where is he? I don't know where- oh, they- oh wait, those are pigmentillos, but- are they? I think so. At least we'll be able to aim them down, right? And we still have these towers and whatnot, which is good, but I don't know where- okay, this tower is- this- this building masonry is getting attacked. I don't know where, though, but 
Hopefully we can do some damage. Oh gosh, that Pigmentella just rolled into our skeletons. I just heard it. <laughs> I'm gonna try and take him down. Oh, there's a Hoglin right there. Oh, he's rolling. No, he's rolling through all my skeletons. He's like bowling ball. <laughs> oh my gosh. But I think we killed him there. Yeah, we got him. Okay, good, good. Oh, he's charging at us right now. Man. Oh my gosh. Got killed right there. Jeez. He like one shot at me. I think I had like full health there, it seemed like. <laughs> Let's go back to our, uh, oh yeah, you know what, let's use this thing. Where is he, uh, where is he right now? Oh my gosh, he's right there. Is he gonna stay still enough to get hit? Uh, let's see. No, he's not, man! Oh, at least we, yeah, we hit a few, few hoglins right there, though, so that's good. <laughs> oh man, look at all these piglins here invading. They're gonna take down the tower. Oh, they already took down, what is that, a masonry building or something? They got pigmadillos and stuff here. We're we gonna get overwhelmed. This is bad, this is terrible. I'm still a minute 44 left. Oh, he took down the last redstone launcher. Are you kidding me? Golly. Oh my gosh! He took down every last uh, golem spawner I had. Jeez, okay. Let's get some of these. Let's get some moss golems in there too. Pretty rough. Don't let the piglins damage it anymore. I know, I know. It's 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 getting heckin' damaged here, you guys. Two percent. I don't think we're gonna be able to do it. We got pigmadillos and whatnot there. Golly, there's another pigmadilla back there! A pigmadilla just took down the fountain. Man! There's way too much over here. We need to upgrade our thing so we can have more mobs helping us out, you know? Oh wait, did the timer run out? The fountain went down and I rescued it in time, or, or what? I don't know. Oh, I, I think we failed here, didn't we? Yeah, oh wait, no, the, I guess the timer did go out, but we still have to take down all these pigmadillos and whatnot. Uh, see if we can get some creepers, that'll be really good. I've got a little bit of coal on me. Oh, at least it's getting repaired by the uh, carpentry thing, right? So that's good, but there you go. Any creep? Oh wait, these are zombies! Golly, let's get some uh, creepers here, though. <laughs> at least the zombies do a little bit of damage to the pigmadilla, right? There he is, right there. And I can see a bunch of piglins over there. Those creepers are actually going up. They're just exp Oh man, oh, at least they got him. Okay, they got the pigmadilla there. That's good, but I can see a bunch of piglins. Let's see if we can slice all these guys down! Oh, I just got bowled right there by the uh, pigmadilla, unfortunately. 18, 17 more of them left. 14 more until we're fully defended, I guess. I guess I could just ignore the pigmadillas and take down the easier uh, regular piglins. Five left. Okay, here we go, here we go. So hopefully we can aim down the pigmadillo. Right there, pigmadillo, get him, get him, get him. Explode, explode, explode. Oh, nice, we got him, only two left. Where are they all at? I don't know, oh man, is it? Oh, I think it is just pigmadillas. Yeah, there's another pigmadillo over there. Something else on the outside there too. Let's get these creepers here. Still have a little bit of coal, at least this will help out, right? See if we can take down that last big pillow. There he is, there he is. At least it's distracted just trying to take down a wall for some reason, so that's good. There you go, creepers. Get him, get him, get him! Before he rolls out of the way! No, man! Wait, did they get him? No, I don't think they got him. Golly. Yeah, some of the creepers are getting baited and exploding, unfortunately. Yeah, there's another pigmadillo outside. I see him. But uh, hopefully these creepers can corner him right there. Nice! But he was in roly-poly mode, unfortunately. Oh wait, here we go. Yeah, we got some hogs. Okay, let's take down these hogs and swap to take down those pigmadillos over there. There we go. And okay, now it's defended. Now the pigmadillos are just gonna leave or die or what? I don't know, but it seems like they're just leaving. That's good. Jeez. Even after all those defenses, we still didn't take it down. And I assume that beast is still gonna attack. But at least we got him down to like 30% health. I don't know. Look at this. We got a spy right here. We got a spy pig. Take him down. <laughs> nah, I think he's good, but yeah, we still have some uh, skeletons over here, which is great, but. A lot went down over here, unfortunately. The chest is... Is there anything? Oh, wow, we actually had stuff in the chest, even though it was open right there, but... Yeah, I guess we're going to have to rebuild again. Is there uh, any indication? Okay, so this village over here is going to be attacked this next. This village will need your help tonight. Yeah, I guess we'll fast travel over there and try and defend it, and then maybe this will be the time we can actually take this guy down? I don't know. Because we took him down, like, 40% health the first time, maybe, like, 20-30% health that time. Yeah, we need to definitely make a bunch of masonries, because at least after all that, a bunch of the buildings were still standing, right? So, let's see if we can make some of those. Oh, well, yeah, here's the blast tower. Should I make that next time? But if I did, it'd be susceptible to getting heckin' destroyed by the beast, so... I don't know if I want to do that. Stun tower, that would be good, too, but at the same time, I'd hate to build it and then it gets destroyed by the beast, especially when he's so close to getting killed already, right? And spyglass overlook increases the firing range of nearby arrow towers, scatter towers, and redstone launchers. That'd be really good. Redstone launcher already has a really good radius, but I think I need to get a gather diamond upgrade to get 200 diamonds. Yeah. Battle drum increases the firing speed of nearby arrow tower. Oh, that could be really good too. Yeah, I need 200 redstone. Which actually, yeah, we can gather 200 redstone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we could actually might want to make one of those, maybe a few of those. But there's the masonry, so let's build that down here. 
I guess, yeah, let's get the battle drum. Let's put that, like, right there, yeah. And I can make one masonry right now and see where I can put it. Oh, yeah, this this village is, like, physically bigger than the uh, other village, it seems. So I might I might need to get multiple masonries, unfortunately. Well, there's one masonry right there. Let's go check the uh, chest, see if we got even more iron. We can make another one. Nah, just wooden stone, unfortunately. Man. Well, we're in the right biome to get iron, so I guess we just go out. And we can find some more and we can craft more, right? And here's one of those things that apparently heals you, so as long as this thing's standing, I guess it'll heal us, but I, I assume it maybe heals the enemies too? I don't know. Alright, I think this is the last corner here that needs to have a, uh, a masonry, but unfortunately, not really that much area I can build, so... Hopefully this is going to cover the gate here. I know there's going to be some open spots, but... There we go. That, that, that'll be good, for right now at least. But I might want to, yeah, there's even arrow towers around here. I might want to build more scatter towers. But we have the battle drum here, but I need redstone, so I might want to try and get some more redstone. Where can I find that? Oh, yeah, here we go. Let's go to this village. Okay, I guess we'll see if those battle drums actually help out during the next invasion. Oh, man, I maxed out at 150 redstone. Oh, I thought I was able to get more redstone. I guess not, but at least we'll be able to make the battle drum, right? Because I think the only requires 100. I don't know if it's 200. It is 200. I thought I had the ability to do that, but I guess not. But do we have any, pri yeah, we have prison ring, but not that much. So I don't know. Maybe we'll just build some more towers in general because those didn't seem to fall that much. And it seems like the main thing that did fall was the wood. So might want to, yeah, you know what? Let's, let's see if we can get some more coal, get some more creepers. Yeah, let's go over to the creeper homestead, try and recruit up a bunch of creepers. That way I don't have to spawn them in, but hopefully I can actually take down that beast during the next invasion. Oh, wow, we got another gold chest right there. Let's see what's inside. Hopefully a pretty good amount of, uh, I don't know. I don't think I really need anything. Uh, coal, I guess, if anything. Let's see. And we got, uh, iron. Eh, it's not too bad. I did need that for the masonry, so I can't complain too much. All right, here we go. Start wrangling up all these creepers. And I can actually have a bunch of them, right? Like 40 or 50 of them. So let's try and get as many as I can. I'm up to 15 creepers right now. Jeez. Yeah, look at that. The bottom right usually says like a mix of different critters, but it says purely creepers. It says 20 creepers, 21 creepers. <laughs> awesome. 25 creepers. Now I'm saving a bunch of coal by not having to spawn them in, too. Right, I've got 28 creepers right now, but I'm not seeing any more uh, spawning in me to gather up. So I'm like 28. That's a really good number anyways. So I don't think we need to worry about that. If anything, maybe I'll try and wrangle up some uh, skeletons next because I'm already next to the skeleton area anyways, right? Yeah, all the way over there. So let's go over there. That's actually fast travel to the well house. It's going to be a little bit quicker. Let's head down to the skeletons, try and wrangle those up because those are going to be helpful during the battle too. If anything, maybe even more helpful because the creepers might actually miss their target when they try and explode the beast, right? All right, we're here at the skeleton homestead. Any skeletons out and about? Probably, yeah, it's all damaged and whatnot, so... Oh, wait, yeah, there's a few right here. Yeah, there's a lot of cracks. I might be able to build, like, a carpentry hut. Ah, uh, here's a few skeletons. So it seems like their buildings don't need to be 100% repaired in order to recruit them, so that's good. But we had, like, what, 28 creepers? Now we're at 38, so I think we have 10 skeletons. So let's try and get a few more. Maybe max out at, like, 40. I think I max out at 40, don't I? Yeah, I got 40 right now. Am I able to get another one if I see another one? Let's see. Oh, there you go. We got a couple more over here. Am I able to get more? Yeah, we maxed out at 40. Okay, well, we've got plenty of creepers and a lot of skeletons. I think we're good to go. Let's go back to the village. I don't know when. Is the sun setting right now? Let's see. Let's look west and see if it's starting to set. If so, that means the invasion is about to start. So west is this away. Oh, yeah, the sun is like right there. So it's going to set any minute now. So let's just check up on the village, see if it's getting repaired up the stone. Yeah, it is for the most part. There's even a floating masonry right there. I don't know. Is this even working? It should be. It should be turning everything into stone, but uh, I don't know what it's even doing. It's just sitting there floating on a bunch of stone. Let me just wait here until the actual battle starts, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. And hopefully by then a lot of these walls are going to be stone. And by the way, I might as well try and craft some extra walls, like a double layer wall, honestly. That'd be really good. Try and keep these guys out that much more, and I wonder... Yeah, you know what? I'm trying to build it right now, and it just immediately starts turning it into stone. That's really good, you guys. So I don't have to wait for the... Oh, wait, no. Yeah, it's being built right now as wood, but it is being converted to stone. So hopefully by the time the sun actually does set, uh, we'll have some double layer wall here. It's not going to keep them out 100%, I know that, but at least it's going to help out a little bit more, especially because I have so many extra resources, so much extra wood and stone and whatnot, right? Yeah, while well, I'm at it, I might as well get more of these like scatter towers and whatnot, just to kind of just scatter them about, I guess you could say. Oh, never mind, I'm out of resources. Yeah, that requires coal, so. Couldn't really make many of those anyways. Let's try and get some regular uh, arrow towers, though. Just put them everywhere, because it's just stone and wood to craft these. And if I place them close enough to the masonry, they'll be stone, too. 
And when I run out of wood like I did right there, let's just check him on the chest. And boom, I'm full on wood, full on coal, full on iron. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to place down even more arrow towers here. If anything, then hopefully that's going to defend the fountain that much more and I can focus on the uh, beast, huh? Oh wow, with all these creepers, I don't even have any uh, summoned mobs in, so I could summon in some creepers, but I might save that for the actual battle. Let's summon in... Eh, let's get, yeah, let's get more skeletons, because skeletons are really valuable during this, because they're ranged and they can take on all those melee guys really easily. Yeah, just summon in 20-ish skeletons right there. I, yeah, I can only have like 40 of them spawn or uh, follow me at a time, so that kind of sucks. But let's get some grindstone ones. There you go. That'll help out a little bit. And, of course, some mossy to help heal everyone up. And I don't know if... I still don't know if the mossy actually can heal non-golem uh, critters and whatnot, but uh, I guess we'll see when the sun sets, which is like right now. So any second now, the invasion's going to start. So we definitely need to be careful of this, you guys. And if we take damage, I guess we can go over to that thing, over that blue thing, and heal up, which is nice, because it's like right there, but... Look at like a lot of these dual walls are still wood. A lot of them are, oh, here we go, here we go. A lot of them are uh, stone though, so that's good. But we got so many arrow towers and even a few scattered towers all over the place. Should be able to take this guy down. Yeah, he's down 33% health. Where is he? He is this way. Oh, he's coming in. I see him all the way back there. Seems like some of his, uh, golly, they already exploded a few towers. Man, get him go on the outside here and get the creepers to aim down him and oh i just don't know like when he's on the move like that i, I don't know if i want to have the creepers try and aim him down but maybe the walls can do some damage to him he's at 33 percent health i don't think he oh he's trapped between the the walls though so that's good but oh, he made it inside anyways golly all right oh my gosh all the piglins over here holy heck let's help him out we got the skeletons getting surrounded this is not good all of our uh, range getting attacked by melee this is not good at all <laughs> But at least on the inside, it seems like the arrow tower is actually damaging him a little bit. He's down to 30% health. That's awesome. Man, I'm able to take down all these piglins really well. And we have a healing tower right here, too. Oh, man, we got these guys trying to beat down the defenses as well. So let's watch out for that. But let's try and take this guy down. Everyone just aim him down. Everyone, no matter where you are, just aim him down. <laughs> all right, yeah, over here we got more skeletons, more creepers and whatnot. Let's get these guys all to follow me and just aim him down. But there's so many towers and whatnot in the way. He's trying to knock down the stone towers, which is crazy that they're holding up still. Creepers are going to go in and hopefully explode, maybe? I don't know, but the, the stun golems are still there, so that's good. Let's see if we can get the creepers to, uh... I mean, he's running out there, though. Oh, he's summoning in a bunch of enemies, but at least the creepers will go in the middle of that. Wow! Creepers went in the middle of that and just exploded like crazy. That was awesome. And the, there's still some creepers next to him. How much health does he have? Does this say? Oh, I have to go here. 21% health left on the beast. That's really good, you guys. I did not expect him to be down that much. That's amazing. We got all these skeletons aiming him down. And we even have some of the grind... I don't know if the grindstone golems can actually stun him. It doesn't seem like it. Just, just aim him. Everyone aim him down. Make sure everyone's aiming him down. And I'll walk in. Hopefully he doesn't just walk in. <laughs> Hopefully the gate's actually closed. Okay, there you go. He's down to 15% health. That's amazing. All these arrow towers are doing a great job at whittling him down. Let's see if we can get some more. Yeah, let's get some more skeletons. You can get some more creepers here in a minute. Oh, well, I'm, yeah, I'm out of uh, spawned in slots anyways, but what is it? Oh, there he is right there. Okay. Aim him down, everyone. Aim him down. He's down to 10%. How is he down to 10% health? That's amazing. Oh, my gosh. I guess I'll try and melee him down myself. He's down to 7%. Oh, my gosh. Six minutes left on the invasion, but he's down to 6% health. We're going to do it, you guys. We're finally going to do it. Whatever this big building is right here looks like it's about to go down, but man, I'm swiping at him with a diamond sword, and it's seemingly helping out. All the towers are shooting him down alongside all the skeletons and whatnot, but man, I'm getting whittled down myself. I need to watch out. And he's down! The beast is down! Oh! His mask fell off. <laughs> oh, face reveal! Oh, he's vulnerable! <laughs> what in the world just happened? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at me. Look at my horses glitching out. <laughs> we got him, though. Horde boss, the beast, he has fallen. You did it. You have banished the horde of the hunt back to the nether. This is truly a triumph. Yeah, so that's the first time we took down a horde in its entirety. The horde of the hunt and then took down its leader right there. Awesome. Oh, another cutscene. Let's see what happens. It's odd to see them so far from home. Their world is changing, and they are curious to learn how. We saw where that led the creepers. No. These gentle souls' strength comes from their peace. 
they will find their way back home. Hmm. Are they talking about the illagers? Or what will become the illagers? It looked like they're focusing on the gray ones there, the illagers. So I wonder if that's going to explain how they like kind of broke off from the villagers. Does it have something to do with Minecraft legends? I guess we'll see later, right? Yeah, see, we still have all the gray uh, illagers just dancing with the railer villagers. There's a railer villager right there. So yeah, they're, they're all still friendly with each other right now, which is awesome. And honestly, it looks like a lot of the walls are still standing. Like this village isn't as destroyed as the previous village. And they're still upgrading the walls in the stone. Look at that. So even through all that, the masonries were still upgrading everything to stone, which honestly helped everything survive, I think. Let's actually get the carpentry thing. Okay, yeah, th these are outside of range of that other carpenter thing over there. But let's get this one built here to repair these buildings. And there was another big building somewhere, right? That was like really damaged. Is that? I think it's in range. Yeah, 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 it looks like it's gotten repaired. Yeah, it's in range of both carpenter uh, buildings. So that's good. And after that, yeah, what all's left? Yeah, we just have to focus down these other hordes over here. The Horde of the Spore, the Noxious Horde, is all about souring the ground and poisoning the air. These piglins have claimed this area. Piglins construct outposts that spread netherrack, corrupting the air with spores. This allows them to build larger bases. Ooh, what about the other one? The Horde of the Bastion. This burly horde focuses on ranged units, defense towers, and structure upgrades. Large base, large rewards. Ooh, yeah, a lot of prismarine there and even gold. So I wonder which one we should focus on now that we took down the Horde of the Hunt in the middle. Now all we have left are these straggler hordes over here, huh? Seems like this village over here is still damaged from the previous raid, right? Yeah, I need to rebuild the gates over here and this near needs to have Carpenter Hut repair it. That other Carpenter Hut's like outside of range anyways. So let's place this so it's in range of multiple buildings. Bloop, there you go. And I guess I could do the same thing here where I did like the double walls because that seemed to help out a lot there, honestly. Like we even saw him get stuck between the walls. So that worked out really well with defending against the heckin' horde boss, the beast. That means it's going to help out that much more during just regular invasions from piglins, right? Oh, I need to make... Yeah, I don't know if those gates are even in range of the uh, masonry towers. So uh, hopefully they are. They get built as uh, wood first. So I don't know if they're going to get upgraded to stone later. Actually, I don't even know if there's even... A, this masonry tower here probably got destroyed. Like everything else, like the redstone launchers and everything there. <laughs> yeah, even the villagers are laughing about that. <laughs> but yeah, let me keep rebuilding this over here. Uh, okay, yeah, that gate's definitely in range, it looked like right there. But uh, I'm going to keep rebuilding, and of course I'm going to try and do the double layer wall too. And maybe in the future we'll have all the villages as double walled. So we're going to be that much more protected from any piglin attacks or horde leader attacks like we had right there, right? All right, you guys are back, and as you can see, all these walls around here are built, and they're being converted into stone, a lot more durable. So next time this gets attacked, which is probably going to be sometime soon if we keep on attacking all these other hordes over here, I don't know if I'm going to attack them anytime soon. I kind of want to sit back and relax and maybe explore around the world a little bit more and maybe even experiment around with some of those new buildings we just looked at a minute ago. But the last few episodes you guys watched were all recorded at once. I went through like a crazy like six hour recording session, which is insane, and it led up to the half halfway point of this video. I don't know how I was able to get that much footage at once. I got really sucked into the game and it was crazy. So if you guys left any helpful comments, which I know you guys have in the past few episodes, and I don't know what happened there. It's just a floating thing. And you, if you guys left comments and felt like I was ignoring you or anything like that, just know that I recorded like four or five episodes or whatever that was all at once. So I was unable to read any of you guys' comments until now. And one of the comments you guys brought up was I guess we can go over here to this village, is that the regal tiger that we recruited over here is actually a mount. And I'm curious if that like beetle thing that's over to the right side, I guess I'll pull up the map here in a second. I guess we can see if that thing's also a mount too. So uh, what was it called again? Yeah, the brilliant beetle. I wonder if that is because it's been on the map for a little while, but I just kind of ignored it. So I kind of want to see what that's all about. As well as, yeah, I noticed while editing the videos that, yeah, there is like a clock over here on the top right or top left corner, actually. It kind of shows where the sun is in the sky, and as you can see, it's like almost noon-ish, so I don't need to be like physically looking around and being like, oh man, there's west over there, I don't see the sun, blah blah blah, even though it's like literally above me, but <laughs> yeah, I just have to pull the map, and boom, it kind of tells you the time right there. It doesn't tell you like an actual number or anything like that, but kind of represents the time, right? But anyways, we're going to have to go from here, I probably should have placed down a market. Let's go there, let's go see what the uh, regal tigers are up to, and you guess that I could use it as a new mount, so I wonder how that's going to work. Is this them? I think it is. Yeah, yeah, I see a purple one in the background. Cool. And we have a little bit of iron right here, and I don't even have any, which is kind of crazy, so I guess we'll mine some of it. Get the LA's busy. There you go. So how's this work? Can I actually, like... Oh, wait! Swap mount! Hey! Okay. Boom. And then how's this... Whoa! I'm on a Regal Tiger! Whoa! Regal Tigers are the fastest things on Four Paws. Just what you need to hunt those piglins down. 
Wait, does that mean the mount that I'm riding on is able to hold on? Instead of like the diamond sword or whatever. No, the diamond sword still works. Wait, hold on. What did that say? You unlocked the real? Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's so much stuff happening right now. <laughs> Let's go over to where would it be? Combat melodies? No. And by the way, yeah, we haven't read on this in like a while, so it just now populated with a zombie and the skeleton and griever. I guess we can read about the zombie and whatnot too. Spawn zombies, high health mobs. Okay, that's good. Resist the debuffs and have a disruptive melee attack. So they're kind of, kind of like how the skeletons were like an upgraded version of the plant golems. Seems like the zombies are like an upgraded version of like, I'd say even the cobblestone and also the grindstone golem. Interesting. But obviously the creeper doesn't heal us, right? At least not that I know of. <laughs> Spawn creepers, mobs that explode, healing high damage to enemies and shrutchers. Enemies not killed, run away in fear. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Right with the shrutcher, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's nothing really equivalent at that we know of that's the same as the mossy gold, like an upgrade mossy gold. See what it says about the regal tigers. Overworld, here we go. Stylish without even trying. Regal tigers are the fastest mountain in the overworld. The only felines you could ride safely. Cool. Now, what does it say about that beetle? Is it even here or do I need to get a little bit closer to see that little mini cutscene to see what- Yeah, I don't, I don't see that beetle over here, brilliant beetle or whatever it's called. And by the way, what about the- like I said, the horse? Is the horse like gone now? Is he back at the well of the- And by the way, by the way, <laughs> am I able to ride llamas? Oh my gosh! Oh, wait, okay, yeah, it was just detecting the uh, other regal tiger right there, okay. <laughs> Let's go over to- here, here we go. And by the way, they set their fastest mount. I feel that. I feel the sweat. Oh, they, I, I think that's my horse, isn't it? Yeah, he's following me, isn't he? Is that him? Is that my old horse right there? He seems small. Huh. Okay. That's kind of interesting there, but I don't know if I'm actually able to ride these llamas. I'll see where this brilliant beat. Oh, wait, I see him. I see him in the back. There they are. Now, am I able to switch over to them as a mount? It looks like it. Huh. Let's see what this cutscene says. Ooh. These brilliant beetles can climb anything. There's nowhere the picklins can hide from me now. Oh, that seems really helpful. So I'm able to climb up walls and stuff? Cliffs? Huh. So not necessarily fast. Yeah, kind of slow, honestly. But able to go up like, wow, yeah, look at that. Able to, and this is the perfect biome, too, with all these tall trees. Well, anyways, these guys are cool and all. But they're kind of special. Oh, jeez, there's one trapped in the vines over there. <laughs> but they're kind of like special use case, you know? I think I'd rather switch over to the Regal Tiger. And I don't know. Is there another mount? I swapped over a mount. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there another mount? Because, you know, horse, Regal Tiger, Brilliant Beetle. Is there a, a fourth mount, perhaps? Let's actually pull up the thing over here and read more about that. Brilliant. But there he is right there. Brilliant Beetles can climb up walls and cliffs. Yeah, like I said. If you can get over the extra legs, brilliant beetles are an excellent companion if you want to reach the higher points of the overworld. Yeah, definitely want to watch out for uh, opportunities where they could be useful, right? Oh, is that the, that's the chest, isn't it? Remember the chest we saw on episode, what was it, episode two, I want to say? How do we get up to that? I guess we can build a ramp, but I, I, can I even do like, like build a ramp from like, say here? Yeah, it doesn't even go up to the chest. So uh, I, I don't know how this would even work. How do you get up to- is that glitched? I don't know. Let's see if we can go from like, say, this tree onto that arrow tower and maybe we'll be that much closer to that chest. I don't know. Uh, let me see if we can do this part four. This is crazy with a regal tiger who's a lot faster. There we go. We're on top of the arrow tower. I still can't access it though. And I, even if I did, I still have to hold down the Q button to actually activate the LAs to get over there, you know? But let's see. Yeah, I can't, I can't like stack these on top of each other, unfortunately. So I don't know how to do this, man. All right, well, I guess we can go back to... Yeah, let's go back to the Well Fate. Let's see if we can build anything. We've got a decent amount of uh, Prismarine Crystals. We've got 167, so I think we can get an upgrade to hold, like, say, more coal or redstone. But I'm not sure which one I'd rather get right now. Let's actually look at the list of stuff in this. See if there's anything that might... And I know we had the... What was it? The Battle Drum? Uh, where was that at? Spikeless over. That's also pretty interesting, too. But we need to get the Diamond Upgrade there. There's the Kaboomery, yeah. Okay, so Kaboomery, that's the one for the Toll Upgrade. The Battle Drum is the one for the Redstone Upgrade. Okay. So the Battle Drum increases the firing speed of nearby arrow towers, scatter towers, redstone launchers, and traps. And then there's the Spyglass Overlook that requires the Diamonds, increases the firing range of nearby arrow towers, scatter towers, and redstone launchers. Kind of similar to the Battle Drum, but that's firing speed. This is range. So you kind of have to think about that. And then this one adds an explosive knockback to projectiles from exploding or uh, attacking structures such as the arrow tower, scatter tower, redstone launcher. So all these three upgrade scatter tower, arrow tower, redstone launcher. I'm like redstone launcher is already explosive, but this one makes it even more explosive, right? Like with an explosive knockback. Which one would I rather get? You know, I'm thinking about the Kaboomery. I think that's going to be really powerful. 
And if we get the extra coal, we'll be able to hold 300 coal. We'll be able to make more scattered house and, and even more creepers too. Let's go over to the coal upgrade. Let's do quick build. Cause I heckin' forgot to even see that I was able to do that, right? So if we could do this right about there. Boom. All right. Now the overworld can better prepare you for the fight. Cool. Okay, so now we're able to hold 300 coal, you know, as soon as that's done, that is. So I guess we can go check up on one of the village chests and see if we can actually uh, gather some more coal, huh? That's a well house. Let's go to this village. Like I said, I kind of want to go to the skeleton homestead and the zombie homestead. Try and repair them up with some carpentry huts. And then we'll probably end off the episode. I'm just going to try and record like a 15, 20, 30 minute like segment right here. Just to kind of put at the end of the giant recording session that I did. And then we can start looking forward to the next episode. But uh, here, let's definitely check up on their chest to see if we have anything good. Maybe some more prismarine. Let's see. And then good in there. No, no, no prismarine. But we did get more coal, which is awesome. And of course, we're full on the wood and the stone. But if we wanted to get the kaboomery. Oh man, yeah, that's 200 coal though, so, ooh. Let's go to quick build. So how big of an area is that? Eh, it covers a pretty decent area. It seems like we might need to make like four of them like we have previously if we wanted to have like the whole entire area covered, right? So, yeah, you can tell whenever a, a building is affected by this because it has like a little faint white outline around it. So those uh, arrow towers by the gate, those are being upgraded by the Kaboomery if I put it right here. So if I put it like right there, we'll have arrow tower. Man, I'm getting pushed around. <laughs> We'll get the arrow towers on the sides and even on the gates and even the scatter towers near the uh, fountain all upgraded to have explosive knockback. And I assume these ones are really affected. The Kaboomery is almost done. There it is right there. I don't know how I'm actually able to check, though, how much area it affects. But uh, I assume all four of these scatter towers around the uh, fountain, hopefully they're all able to uh, explode. That'd be really nice. But the explosion, it seems like it just does knockback. It doesn't do like extra damage just by the sounds of it. So it's not going to be anything crazy like creepers uh, attached at the end of the arrows or anything like that, right? But... Speaking of creepers, let's go over here to the well house that's between the creepers and the skeletons. Let's go check out the skeleton homestead and see if we have to repair anything over there. Alright, it looks like this is the skeleton base. Yeah, I can see the uh, previous piglin outpost there already. So I'm, I'm curious to see if there's anything that needs to be repaired here. So where would that be? Here's the carpenter hut. I can make a few of them, which is good. Actually, I can make a lot of them. Yeah, I can make almost 10 of them. <laughs> but their bases are all, yeah, they're all like really cracked, so... Let's definitely just start healing this area up here. There's their uh, flame of creation or whatever it's called that allows us to spawn those guys in. So let's make sure all these are uh, covered by the carpenter huts. I guess we'll just wait until this is fully uh, healed up and I guess these guys are going to be nice and defended. And I guess speaking of defended, I might as well make some uh, arrow towers, scatter towers, etc. here too and help defending them if they ever get attacked again like the uh, creepers did, right? There you go, getting like three arrow towers on every corner. Let's get some scatter towers mixed in, especially towards the uh, center here. I don't know if I'm going to turn any of them into stone with the uh, masonry. Can I do that? Do I have the right material? I do. So I could put it like say here and turn a bunch of stuff into stone. Make it a little bit more durable, right? So I guess we'll do that. There you go. Uh-oh. Where are the piglins heading to next? Over here? This well house will be under threat once the sun sets. Okay, let's go check up on them, see if they're nice and prepared for any uh, future attacks. I don't know what happened all my stuff, by the way. I must have left them behind. <laughs> let's see. How are these guys doing? They their greedy little eyes in this well house. You should build defenses. Wait. They're attacking the actual well house itself. Yeah, this isn't a village. This is a well house. What in the world? So real quick, let's go to all these other villages. Oh, it looks like, okay, it looks like I left all my uh, stuff behind over here. Maybe I told them to stay or something like that. I don't know, but check them on the chest here. There you go. Try and get full. Yep, there you go. Basically full on everything except for coal. <laughs> That's crazy. Let's go back to the well house and keep building defenses over here. Let's try and build a, yeah, let's, let's, let's build gates and whatnot. Even though there's nothing really to defend except for the well house itself, which by the way, I don't think it has a chest, does it? No. And it seems like the village chests are actually only in the villages themselves. But anyways, let's uh, rotate this, place it there. And I guess, yeah, it, it's going to be a relatively small area, but yeah, I get a gate on like every direction. So we're able to enter and exit from any direction. And I suppose what we could do is get some scattered towers in here. Maybe get the Kaboomery. We'll be able to test that out during this uh, encounter. And yeah, because it's such a small area, the Kaboomery, if I can make one, I don't know if I can. Uh, I am not. Yeah, I need more coal, man. I kind of want to see if I could do a masonry here and it covers like everything just straight up. That'd be pretty interesting. Let's see. Here's a masonry. Do we even have room to place it down? Uh, not everything is covered, unfortunately, but uh, a lot of it is. So that's cool. Uh, I, I guess we'll place it there and we can place the Kaboomery here, here on that side. So that'd be great. But right now, everything seems like enclosed. Oh, yeah, I did miss a. I knew I missed a block right there. 
there we go. Okay, cool. So at least that tower is going to be defended even when I'm gone trying to get some coal. But let's go out because we're in the right biome. Let's see if we can find some more coal. And if we can, we can make a kaboomery in there and turn a lot of those towers into explosive knockback towers. Was this coal? Yep, we got some coal right here. Perfect. Let's get some coal from that. Oh, whoops, don't get <laughs> stuck in the thorns. <laughs> more coal right here. There we go. We have so many LAs. Let's start mining up all that coal. Oh, wait, hold on. We got another golden chest randomly. Let's see what that and some coal over there, too. Let's see what's going on there. Yeah, if we had that beetle, we'd be able to climb up this wall, no problem, without having to jump. But we have the uh, Regal Tiger right now, just because he's a little bit faster. And we have, yeah, I'm going to hit the limit here. I might as well get it anyways. There you go. I'll grab that coal. Sure, why not? And whatever's inside this chest, too. Hopefully it's Prismarine. What do we get? We got one build a lay. Hey, so yeah, I think we got one gather a lay randomly from a gold chest. Now we got another build a lay. So I think we have 10. Yeah, we have 10 and 10 right now. Cool. So let's go back to I can see just fast travel back to it, right? Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. What is that? Is that another tower that I saw in the background? I don't know. I guess we can see because I'm able to deconstruct it. We'll at least have it in our inventory, right? Those pigs don't appreciate who's in the bath with them. Pay them a visit and you'll get a surprise. Wait, what are they talking about? Pigs having a bath? Are they talking about the Regal Tigers? Like, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> what the heck are they talking about? This way? Oh, it must be up here. Let's see. Ah, you oh. discovered one of our oldest friends. You two will get along nicely. Come back to the well and we'll teach you a song to wake that golem up. So that's like a golem or something, huh? Interesting. They said to come back to the well. I guess we'll do that. Let's save that for next episode. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, let's go back to the well house because it is. Let's, let's pull up that. I'm already fast traveling. <laughs> I want to pull up the map to see what time it is where the sun is in the sky. Oh, I guess. Yeah, it's relatively early right now. It's like 10 a.m. or something like that. So we have plenty of time. And I still have a hole over here, too. I guess I have a lot of holes in the wall, huh? Uh, let's get a kaboomery going over here. And I guess I'll pause the recording. And we can wait until it turns to nighttime. We can actually see the kaboomery and all this other stuff in action, right? That'd be really cool. I don't know if I should build You know what? Yeah, let's build some scatter towers on the outside, too. Let's do that, especially on the side that's going to be upgraded by the uh, masonry. Let's definitely do that. But yeah, this is like extreme overkill. I don't need to have this much defenses for uh, a well house, but hey, it works, right? So that's the Yeah, there's the Kaboomery right there. Like redstone and TNT and whatnot over there. And we got the uh, masonry right here. So this is going to be a good spot to place down the scatter towers, I'd say, on the outside. And yeah, if I place it right here, it looks like it's being overlapped by both the Kaboomery and the Masonry Tower. So that's going to be stone, and it's going to have the uh, extra knockback from the Kaboomery. So that's going to be really cool there, you guys. Ah, oh, yeah, you know what? Because there's so much time. Yeah, it's like basically noon right now. Let's go back to the Well of Fate, see what knowledge or who, who was that that just taught me, told me? I'm, I'd probably knowledge, honestly. <laughs> see what knowledge has to say about that goal, and it's like taking a bath right there. Oh, wait, looking at the thing. First of Oak, powerful golem that blasts enemies from a great distance. Whoa. So that's like a ranged creeper or, so, or like a basically a plank golem that's like buffed by the kaboomery, I guess. Huh. Wake the firsts, gold and wood. This ancient giant planted the seeds that grew into the mighty forest of the overworld. Ooh, interesting. Wait, hold on. Wake the fur. Hold on. Is there a thing I need to craft? Oh, wait, is this it? It is. OK, yeah, there is a thing I have to craft, but I need prismarine, unfortunately. Enables you to assemble the powerful golems found throughout the world for a gold and resource cost. Yeah, we have plenty of gold right now. Allows you to reassemble the powerful golems that were created by the hosts. Each has its own unique capabilities and can greatly assist in thwarting the piglin threat. Ooh. So I wonder how many there actually are. If there's just that one's the oak one. Maybe there's another one for like, I don't know, birch. Uh, maybe another one for like dark oak jungle or something. <laughs> That'd be pretty interesting. I guess we'll have to wait and see uh, about that because we need more prismarine, unfortunately. I guess, yeah, let's just go to the well house. Let's defend it from whatever's going to be attacking here in just a bit. I might as well recall all of my stuff. Oh, it's just a bunch of skeletons. Cool. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. So we could have skeletons that just stay in here and they're able to shoot over the walls and still hit whatever's on the outside. So that's really powerful there. All right. I got some more materials. I'm thinking about making a, a redstone launcher thing over here so we can play with it a little bit. So I feel like maybe I should put it like over here. I guess over here. That way it's going to be protected by the uh, masonry a little bit better, right? Let's get a gate right there, and I guess we can get a gate on this side. That way we're able to get into it a little bit easier no matter what side we're on, right? And I'll, I'll probably even do a double hacking wall here too, just to make it even more protected, right? There you go. Boom. Double layer wall. I don't know if I'm actually able to do it with the uh, gates, but hey, there you go. Actually, the gates are going to be open none... I, well, that one's not. Am I able to control the gates themselves? Not really, yeah. So, anyways, if I wanted to use the um, thing right here, which by the way... I'm like, it's not going to be buffed by the Kaboomery, unfortunately, right? Yeah, because the Kaboomery is all the way up there. But look at this. This is such a huge area I'm able to control right here. I don't think that well house is going to get in the way. So this is going to be awesome, you guys. Let's just wait until the sun sets and see how this attack goes. 
And by the way, I've got all my skeletons on the inside over there by the uh, golem spawners, so they're going to be nice protected. Uh, hopefully they're going to stay in there and just shoot over the walls at all the enemies. And of course I've got some zombies over here next to me, hopefully going to protect me during this, right? And it seems like one of my zombies is stuck in the walls. Whoops! <laughs> Get out of there, zombie! Oh, I think he's going to be trapped in there until I fast travel, right? Oh yeah, look at that. The sun is setting. Any minute now, we're going to have the attack. Oh, here we go. We got the attack coming. Is that Horde of the Bastion or uh, what, what is it called? Horde of the Spore? More piglins approaching. Hold on, let's go over to the Redstone Launcher. Where are they all at? Can I see him on the map? Oh, here we go. Here we go. I can see him. Let's confirm target like right. Oh, whoops. I think I aimed out a little bit too far right there, honestly. That might still. Seems like that might have- oh wait! Okay, looks like it's already like pre-aimed right there, unfortunately. Man! Alright, well I guess we can go out and try and swipe these guys down, but we got the arrow towers, scatter towers, and whatnot. We did a pretty good job anyways, so... Let's see anything come from this direction? No. This direction? Skeletons should be able to take them down. Oh yeah, here we go, here we go. Yeah, we just got the- oh man! So we got the scatter towers right here. Yeah, that's definitely like Horde of the Spore throwing like little like spore, whatever that is. I don't even know, but we got zombies right here. Hopefully gonna help take them down. Slice and dice on these guys. And of course we got the uh, scatter towers in the background, but man, taking a little bit of damage over time. We need to watch out for that, golly. Now, I did get some comments from you guys saying the uh, mossy golems are indeed healing me. So maybe I can try and get a few of them. Uh, let's go to spawn there. You go. Try and get a few of these guys here. Oh wait, no, my spawned army is full. Yeah, because we've got a lot of... Man. All right, well, at least the uh, redstone launcher is probably done by now, so let's go back into there. Let's get actually launch some more stuff. Here we go, here we go. Man, go into there. Is it? Oh, there we go. Okay, now it's ready. Okay, so it seems like we have to wait until the actual timer goes down. Oh, wait, here we go, here we go. Uh, let's see. Let's shoot those big guys in the back there. Let's see how that works. We'll hopefully get hit. Yes, they did, but they didn't get killed, did they? Yeah, they're still alive. We just... Oh, wait, there we go. We got them. Okay, yeah, definitely shoots like two projectiles at once. I did not control that second projectile that shot out right there. The piglins have sent reinforcements. Now I hear them, but I don't see them. Apparently, are they down there? They are! Oh my gosh, I've got a lava launcher down there. I see it. Hold on. I might be able to, because it seems like it might be trapped. If I can get the redstone launcher, it's still cooling down, unfortunately. Okay, just finished. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, uh, they were over there somewhere. Oh, they're, yeah, I don't I don't physically see them though, but this is definitely able to reach them. See anything over there? I just see like a I don't know, regular guy there. I guess I could launch at them. <laughs> see how that looks. Let's shoot at him. We're far. We got one explosion there and then a second projectile gonna hit in a second. Oh yeah, we got another uh, group right there, but they're not Oh, here we go, here we go. Hopefully they get hit. If they come over here, you wanna hit, get hit by the second projectile, maybe? Nah, I don't think so. Yeah, I, I guess that second projectile didn't go, unfortunately. Man. All right, but I don't know about that lava. Yeah, there's that. There's still that lava launcher all the way down there. So if we could try and lure him up the the hill, that way we're actually able to take him down. Yeah. So yeah, and he's lava launching right now, but it's just hitting the other side of the hill. So I don't know how I can get him to. And there's two of them down there too. So uh, I don't know. I'm like I know a general area where that is. If I can get the uh, redstone launcher, to actually go right there. Oh man, they're sending in. Yeah, they're sending in explosive guys here. It looks like. Man. Ah, let's see if we can take these guys out. Uh, let me get these guys with the sword. There you go. We can win a little bit, make sure the scatter towers are able to take care of the rest of them. There you go. Get this guy down a little bit more. I'm taking some hits over here, though, so I need to watch out. Oh, this scatter tower is getting hit. It's getting overwhelmed, unfortunately. Man, is this one actually upgraded by the Kaboomery? I don't know. Yeah, that one's really cracked. That one's about to go down, but let's go over to the Redstone Launcher. I'm on fire, by the way. <laughs> Not in a good way. Hold on. Use the, uh, here we go, Redstone Launcher. So I know they're like... I'd want to say, like, right there. Let's see if that actually hits them, though. Let's try to get a little bit... Oh, what in the world? I did not aim right there. I aimed right here. Golly. All right, well... <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I can try and get the rest of them. Man, out in the thorns. I don't think I'm actually able to hit those lava lava launcher guys, unfortunately. Yeah, I need to lure them up the hill a little bit better, but they're so big and burly. I think they're actually able to fit. Here we go, we got another guy right there, and yeah, they took down one of the scattered towers, it looks like, right there, so that sucks. The the well house itself is still 100%, I don't even have a carpenter tower protecting or healing it, so that's actually really good there, you guys. Another group of picklins coming your way! Yeah, only like 15 seconds left, though, so I don't think it's really that big of a deal. I want to make sure that, I want to let the redstone thing do another shot. Oh, here we go, here we go. Yeah, only 7 seconds left, though. You can actually, yeah, he was like right over there or something, but... Is that projectile actually going to get him? The 
tables have turned. Nah. Now it is time to remove the rest of the piglins. Yeah, I wish those lava launchers were... I'm actually complaining that the big heavy lava launchers were closer and I can actually hit them with a the rest of the thing, you know? That's a good thing to complain about, honestly, because the, the well house is still 100% health. Invasion repelled. I guess I killed enough of these guys, so I start retreating. I also have you guys commented as well. Like, I was confused, like, why don't, why don't I kill, like, 20 of these guys? And then suddenly they turn around, but now, yeah. They realize that they're losing the battle, so they start retreating back to the base, right? I don't know if these skeletons actually shot at anything. I don't know if they got, uh, like, any of the enemies actually got close enough for the skeletons to actually start shooting at them. But, but I kept them here as a strategic thing anyways. Just so they didn't go outside, so we could kind of shoot from the inside where they're nice and protected. But I don't know if they actually shot at anything. It might have just been the scatter towers and arrow towers, honestly. But, hey, at least we successfully defended the uh, well house over here, right? It seems like we might need to do a similar thing later for this well house between the creeper and the uh, skeleton homestead. So, might want to think about that, but we'll worry about that in the future episode and whatnot. But hey, it seems like the only thing that we lost was like one scatter tower. And it was actually a uh, upgraded masonry scatter tower, like stone scatter tower, like right here. This is the only thing that fell. Everything else is like, I don't see them cracked at all, honestly. It's kind of crazy. Boom. Just rebuild that. And then, yeah, well, this is equally as protected as it was before the battle, right? For right now, I guess we'll just go back to the Well of Fate. We can start looking forward to the next episode. We want to go back to that first Golem of Oak or whatever that guy was called. Maybe we can take down. Yeah, you know what? Next episode, we definitely need to take down. I don't know, Horde of the Spore, one, like maybe two or three of these bases until we have enough Prismarine to actually make that thing to go over here. This yeah, first of Oak guy, make the wake the first improvement. Yeah, we need 100 Prismarine, so. We need to get about 33, yeah, 33 more Prismarine and we'll be good to go in that regard, but we'll worry about that next episode. So until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Minecraft Legends comes out so you don't miss it because it seems like it's going to be a pretty exciting time ahead where we're going to be getting some new golems this first or whatever it's called. It's going to be seemingly a lot more powerful too. So I'm very curious to see how they're like in battle. Yeah, first of the Oak, I'm very curious to see how good they're going to be because it says they're able to blast enemies from a great distance. Are they going to put our creepers and our skeletons out of business? I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But until then... Thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Minecraft Legends. Oh, bye there.